morning folks, good afternoon or good evening, it's lovely to see you as usual and thank you very much for popping over just to see this very quick and easy traditional spotted dick recipe. Now, obviously I know where the spotted comes from, that's the raisins or the currants or the, you know, the sultanas that you use, but the dick part, I have no idea where that comes from and I have done a wee bit of research and apparently nobody knows, so whatever, it's traditional spotted dick and it is just uh, a steamed sponge pudding with some raisins in, and it's a very light flavour and it's deceptively light in texture as well. I'm going to be using suet because that's the most traditional but if you can't find suet because I know that it's a nightmare to find in other parts of the world you can use something like lard or even butter but if you can get suet then definitely use that. So I'm just going to run you through the ingredients that I've got here and all of the quantities and everything that I use will also be underneath in the description box if you want to go and check that out. So we've got some suet, some raisins, some milk and some sugar, some flour and some lemon zest as well. And this is the suet here, just for those that are interested. But like I said, if you can't find it, don't worry, you can use lard or at a push, obviously you can use butter because suet is just a fat at the end of the day. It's going to give you the fat element in this. So use lard or butter if you can't get to it. And you're also going to need a pudding bowl, so you can use a glass one, a plastic one. I'm using a glass one. So to a big bowl, you want to pop in some self-raising flour and then followed by your suet or whatever fat you're deciding to use. Just make sure it's in wee bits and then your sugar and then your sultanas or your raisins or your currants, whatever you want to use. And then the zest from a lemon. Now, mine's is more like, mine's is more like the, the pith because I couldn't find my grater, so I just slice mine very finely. And to that, add your milk. Now, you might need to add more milk. You want to stir this until you get a nice sticky mess. Now, if it's looking too dry, you know, just add in another wee bit of milk because it should be looking like this and there should be nothing left in the bottom of your bowl, you know, any dry flour or anything. So just give it a good mix together until it's all completely come together and looking something like this. Now, if you remember, grease your bowl. I forgot. <laughs> It doesn't matter in the end, but do grease your bowl because that's going to ensure that your pudding doesn't stick at the end when you try and get it out. Like I said, I completely forgot and I didn't remember until it was steaming away, but I decided to chance it and it was absolutely fine. On top of this, you want to pop some greaseproof non-stick paper. Pop a wee pleat in the top to give it room to expand because it will expand a wee bit. And then some foil on top. Just make sure it's nice and tight and you won't need to add any string or anything. Or if, like me, you forgot to get string, you can use some cling film. So just pop your bowl onto the middle of some cling film, gather up the edges and just twist it around a few times. Really easy and that'll give you a wee handle so that you can get it out of your water or your hot pan at the end because this bowl is going to be very hot. So you do want some kind of handle on there or if you're brave and you don't want to use a handle you can use you know some oven gloves or something but I would recommend doing something like this if like me you forgot to get string. So go over to your cooker and you want a really large pan and in the bottom of your pan put a saucer or something. I've just used the top of a casserole dish just so that your pudding isn't directly you know sitting in the bottom of your pan. Put a couple of inches of boiling water in the bottom and just let this steam away for a couple of hours, just let it simmer. You don't want your, you know, you don't want your, your temperature too high, just in a very low, gentle simmer for a couple of hours. And this was me two hours later. And as you can see, you know, it has expanded a good bit. Yeah, I'm just giving it a wee poke there just to let you see. So you just want to grab your handle, give it maybe a minute or so because this is still going to be warm. But when you're happy, lift out of your water and get it over to your work surface and I would give this again a couple of minutes just to cool down and wow look at that it's expanded beautifully now I was looking at this at the time and I'm thinking how the hell am I going to get this out of the bowl because I thought it had completely stuck but no it was absolutely fine I just gave it a wee sort of run round with a knife you know along the edge and it did slip out quite easily but just let this sit for a couple of minutes till you know to let the suction work and it should just release quite easily like this and I was really happy with this and again just let it cool down 
for a few minutes but this is best served warm or if you're going to have it the next day you know do heat it up again before you have it and we would typically have this with some custard or even cold you know with a wee cup of tea or coffee and it is absolutely delicious and don't let it be you know don't let it fool you because it does look quite heavy and stodgy it's a wee bit stodgy because of the suet but it's much lighter than you might imagine and I will let you just have a wee look inside and see what it's like but yeah highly recommended you give that one a wee go because like I said it's not even just you know it's not difficult to make the ingredients are very affordable and it's just perfect for these cold winter nights so yeah thank you very much for popping over just to check out this wee recipe and do let me know if you're planning on giving it a wee go and just before i leave you a massive thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my patreon page and to the channel members here on youtube it's lovely to see you and hopefully i'll see you back again and i'll catch up with you probably on sunday for meals of the week or during the week for another wee recipe so until i see you next time guys mind to take care of yourselves and i'll see you off as soon back here on what's for tea bye now